Welcome. I'm Sian Hansen, the Executive Director of the Gotham Institute, and I'm pleased today to have Greg Hans with me, Chief Secretary to the Treasury. Welcome. Well, thank you, Sian, and thank you for welcoming me here at the Legatum Institute. I came to your launch, I think, uh, five or six years ago Did here you? in London, <laughs> and uh, been a big supporter of yours. Thank you so much. Now, as Chief Secretary to the Treasury, your remit is, of course, to look after public expenditure. Now, that's a big responsibility, and I wondered if you'd just like to reflect on the last year, say, on public expenditure, your role around infrastructure spending and on pensions. Just what do you think yeah. are the main key focuses for you at the moment? Well, it's a very um, all-consuming job. Uh, it's a big ask uh, uh, to be uh, doing the sort of budget fiscal consolidation uh, that we're doing. Uh, but it has to be done. We've got to make sure that Britain uh, lives within its means, mm -hmm. uh, that uh, we've, now we're going to fix the roof while the sun is shining, mm -hmm. uh, and make sure we eliminate that budget deficit and move towards building a budget surplus by the year 2019 uh, and really starting to bring down the debt. Um, so there's quite a few challenges within that, uh, making sure that uh, public spending goes in the right places, uh, and make sure that's uh, consistent uh, with uh, reducing the deficit whilst also giving, uh, making sure the UK economy keeps motoring ahead. Mm -hmm. And, and um, what, what about just on two topics that people really care about at this point? How, how, just give us a quick view on the NHS and spending there and a quick view on infrastructure. Well, on the NHS, uh, as you know, we're committed to the Stevens Plan, uh, which is 10 billion extra uh, into the NHS over the course of this parliament while still growing um, the NHS budget in real terms over the course mm -hmm. of this parliament. And it's a challenge to make sure that money is going to be well spent mm -hmm. uh, and that the NHS is managing its finances well, which mm -hmm got some very good dedicated financial professionals within the NHS and uh, need to make sure they continue to do a good job and uh, doing something about uh, spending on agency, bringing down um, the deficits in uh, individual trusts, uh, bringing down the drugs bill and there's other quite big financial challenges within the NHS. Mm -hmm. And infrastructure, just very quickly, Northern Powerhouse? Well, infrastructure is very, very important uh, to the government, to the Prime Minister, to the Chancellor. Uh, and to myself. We've got a hundred billion pound infrastructure investment program over the course of this parliament. Uh, but it's not just about pounds, it's also about how we deliver it. Mm -hmm. So reforming the way that infrastructure is delivered in this country, the creation of the National Infrastructure Commission to have a look at the longer term challenges for infrastructure and how we deliver against those is also really important to us. You're quite publicly a Remain. Uh, in the upcoming referendum. Um, perhaps you'd just like to put out on the table why you're for remaining. Well, I think it's amazingly important uh, for this country. Uh, I've always considered myself a Eurosceptic, um, but that's a different question to whether we're in the EU or outside of the EU. Mm -hmm. I think leaving the EU would do enormous damage to our economy. Uh, you don't just have to listen to the Treasury, although we have put out a lot of documentation, a lot of modelling as to why uh, and how and how quickly it would damage our economy, but listen to uh, all of the uh, external independent observers uh, like our own uh, IFS, um, the IMF, the OECD, the Bank of England and so on. Uh, there's a consensus uh, that the British people would be permanently poorer if we were to leave the European Union. Here at uh, Legatum Institute, as you know, we focus on prosperity. And behind a lot of our uh, deep, deep research on this is our belief that the free markets are a really important force. Uh, personal accountability, individual responsibility, um, and as I said, you know, uh, the free markets as a force for good. Um, when we were speaking earlier um, today, you had very interesting reflections about this pivotal time in history, particularly given your travel experience as a younger man in Europe. I wonder if you could just reflect on yeah. that again. Well, I, I lived in uh, uh, West Berlin uh, in the late 1980s, quite an exciting time to be a, um, a teenager and someone in their early 20s. Um, but what it did do was it allowed me to travel a lot in uh, what was then uh, Eastern Europe, uh, Soviet-controlled uh, Eastern Europe. And my point is that now, um, to see something different, that we have to be careful uh, not to take our free market 
uh, our prosperity, uh, our democracies, uh, the rule of law, all of these things which uh, one could be in danger of taking for granted. Uh, because it's very hard to see another system. Mm. You know, you've either got to go a long way back in time, uh, the fact that I'm aged 50 now and only just um, caught the end of that system mm. um, in my early 20s, um, or you've got to travel a terribly long way to you know, the likes of North Korea uh, or Venezuela, uh, very hard countries uh, to go to, mm -hmm. um, to be able to see something that's different. And mm -hmm. I think we shouldn't assume, therefore, um, that it's easy um, to be able to show the opposite, which means we have to get out there on the front foot, mm -hmm. um, selling the virtues of the free market, uh, the virtues of our democracies, um, to particularly to our younger people, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, talk to them a little bit about uh, how important those is, those things are, um, because one day somebody is going to come along. It may already be happening in this country, who are suggesting uh, the opposite. Yes. Uh, and uh, it can be much harder unless you've got a, um, a something that you can show uh, uh, showing the contrary example. So it means more importance for us uh, making the case uh, for the free market. Terrific. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.